Luna can jump in. I just got one question. Do you act, do you think women act like men are stronger than them? Do men that was it one time pack? Do women act like men are stronger than them? Absolutely. Uh oh. Um, yeah. Do no. do what I'm saying is do women in this earth act like men are stronger than them? Um, yeah. Women in the earth, yes. The women in the earth worldwide, yes. All right, so majority, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm talking. So you know, I'm always talking about black people, right? Always, right? I think I think you guys know that, but I'll be specific. So over here, United States. Yeah. Oh, okay. Do, do women act like men are stronger than them? No. Oh, yeah. like no. Well, go ahead. You can answer, then then everybody can jump in. Uh, we were just having that the conversation. Go ahead. Yeah, I thought we were too. Um. I'll say a majority, small majority of women, the smaller on the smaller side. Yeah. Because they have the knuckleheads out there. So I'll say a small majority of women over here do believe that men are stronger. No. And that's I why they make nobody yeah. call on their brothers or their cousins. I think you guys all know that we're stronger. Yeah. But the women conduct. Act. act. The, the, the world was act, right? Yeah, and that's what I'm okay. saying. Yes, I'm, and I'm saying a small majority of women. Yes, and I right. say that because also that I said there's knuckleheads out there. I, I'm literally, I literally said this word. There's knuckleheads out there that will act like they can beat a man when they can't, but when it's convenient because you want your brother, your cousin to beat up Joey, he says some slick to you. Don't call your brother and your cousins because you know they can handle it for you. So it is perverted, but I, I still say a, a small majority of women act with respect because they know that men are stronger than them. So they don't. I don't think they do. Um, Luna, you want to jump in? Then everybody else can jump in. Go ahead, Luna. Um, I just wanted to <clears throat> comment on what was said in the chat that Jay had brought up about what can we learn from both sides. I would argue that there's nothing to learn from the sisterhood because the pick me's are the ones with the authority in the situation because the sisterhood is trying to be picked while the pick me's are already picked by men. So therefore the sisterhood should be asking and learning from the pick me's because we are already married, especially I don't think I, I don't understand why any woman thinks that me, a 21 year old who is already married should get any advice from a woman in her 40s who is not married. Where can, so where can I get advice from at that point? Nobody. I can't learn anything from a sisterhood because a sisterhood will keep me single if I wasn't married already. Mm. Pressure is that. No. Thank you. Mm. Well, you say, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I said thank you, because you answered that oh, question. For sure, for sure. Hmm. Yeah. Um did anybody want to comment on the conversation Love and I were having? About if women if black women act like men are stronger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think I, I think the results show that they don't. Um they don't even, they're not even afraid that they are husband repellents, that men will repel them. They're not even afraid of that or how a man will look at them or how or what a man will think of them. So physically, I don't think that they will be scared either. Okay. Um, does anybody else want to answer that question? What could you learn from the so-called other side? Well, relationships are not everything. Like marriage is not everything. You know, at the end of the day, you're a whole person. And so if there is anything to be learned from the sisterhood, then it would be things outside of relationship because a woman could be single and, you know, be unable to um, nail down a man, but she could be really good at sewing and teach me how to sew, or she could be really good at, you know, um, you know, maybe taking care of animals or a really good nurse or in some other area. So I think that you know, at the end of the day, these women, they still have value as humans. But when it comes to 
dating and, and marriage and, and, and that arena, you know, that's where they obviously, I mean, just by practicality, they just don't have the information that they need to have. And so, you know, other things can be learned from them, but in regards to that, then I would say, no, there, there isn't anything that can really teach us in that area. Right. I hear you. I hear you, Jenny, for sure, for sure. And I agree that like, if it comes to something outside of relationship, sure, we can learn from that woman. But on the basis of relationships, there is nothing to learn from anybody in the so-called sisterhood. Because what is a sisterhood? A group of single women. You know what I mean? Got it. So question, guys, what would you, I guess, all of all of the married women um, offer one piece of advice to single women on the panel? Can y'all do that for me? Be a helper, help your man to the best of your to the best of your ability. I would say just be be nice overall. Be yeah. um cooperative, just be nice, um, helpful, like a helpmate, basically. Cook. <laughs> a, well, a man can get DoorDash though. Well, it's not the same as a home cooked meal. Yeah, yeah but we it's can't. Totally different. A man, but we can't let any of our values, what we bring to the table as a woman, be anything that a man can hire to do. If a man can pay somebody to do it, not he the don't same, care though. about it in a woman. No, that's not true. But I disagree with that because yeah, because I I because we see well. women that can cook, but they only get in fucked. They're not getting married, correct? Well, I, I get what you're saying, but there's nothing like a home cooked meal from. Someone that you really love right. and care about, especially in your life. You can also save a lot of money too. Yeah. Eating out costs a lot of money. Well, aren't there? I understand that. I understand that for sure. I'm just making the point that you can't say um, that what you need to bring to the table as a woman is being able to cook, because really, when it comes down to it, a man just wants a woman that's going to love him and treat him right. So if she don't do those things, but she can cook a mean ass meal, what does that really matter? Well, that's oh. just an addition to everything else. I'm just saying, like, I feel like cooking and preparing a meal for your husband, your man is very important. That's all I'm saying. So mm. I would say, I'm sorry. So no, I, a piece of advice I would say, um, regardless of like, your looks and all that stuff i think that it starts in the home so if you do not have a mother that is a wife i suggest that you seek mentorship no matter what age you are if you are seeking to get married i believe you need to get a mentor um there are books there are um schools there are wife schools and there and specifically seek out a mentorship that is a, a wife um because being a wife is a skill just like everything else um you know and there are things that maybe your mother or your grandmother know if you do not have, you know, if you was not raised to be a wife, I suggest that you get a mentorship, enroll into some type of wife school, um, your church and any, any of that, because it starts there. Um, you're not necessarily born to be a wife if you didn't grow up with your father in a home or, you know, in a, and your mother and father were married, you actually saw your, your mother be a wife. So mentorship is where it's at, wife school as well. They have those out there. If we don't want to listen, listen to us, because I guess apparently we aren't <laughs> the ones to listen to. But I'm no sorry. Shit. So wait, you said there's a wife school? There's a real Absolutely. thing? Absolutely. Absolutely. Wife school. I can definitely send it to you um, in the back chat. There's 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 plenty, but there's one specifically that I know. I actually have the book of the of the, the book of the lady who runs the wife school, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There are plenty I'm of them, like but you have to be you have to be wary of them. But there are there are plenty of them. Um, there are plenty of books. I have a book called Man Lead uh, Man Leads Women Follow. And it's on it's on Amazon. Man Leads. And it's about like $24. Great book. Gets to the point, tells you actually what you need to be looking for to vet um a husband. And also if you don't have, you know, you, you need somebody to help you vet, whether that's your grandfather, your father, if he's still in your life, brothers, um, if not, <coughs> that is some type of mentorship to feel like. Yeah. If I can also add, um, there's also etiquette schools. So, like, for me, starting from 
elementary to middle to high and going to college, they have etiquette schools. So they have full blown feminine etiquette classes, courses, college courses for women to um, participate in. And uh, I got to shout out my mom and my dad for making sure that I participated from K through five, from <laughs> six through eighth, and then from ninth through 12th, and then from college for the first four years. Um, those things exist. And so you learn so many different things about feminism and etiquette as far as setting the table, cleaning the home, and doing all of these different things. And it was mm -hmm. a beautiful experience for me. And so um, if I do have daughters, of course, I'm going to put them through that. But, um, you know, my biggest thing is just not making it seem like it's just this super slavery over the top. The woman is dreading it type of thing. So. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Luna. Oh, um, two things. I would just like to clarify because I feel like we're missing the whole point. I'm not saying that cooking <clears throat> is invaluable. I'm just stating, like, I can cook, but I'm just stating that anything that a man can pay for is not valid when it comes to what you're doing to please him. Like, I'm not saying, like, be, being a good cook and a home-cooked meal is not a good thing to do for your man whatsoever. I'm just saying that it's not, like, the end-all, be-all, like, it's a great trait for a woman to be able to cook and keep and clean and things of that nature. But like I stated, if a woman is not pleasing the man the way he wants to be pleased, it don't matter if she can cook and clean from Monday to Sunday. And I would also argue that taking classes, courses, and reading books is a waste of your time and money because they don't know your man personally. If you want to please your man, you ask your man how you can please him, and he'll tell you everything you need to know. But yeah, I'm not saying, they, I'm not they, they don't have a man, then that doesn't apply. We're talking about being a wife. Being a wife is a skill. You just don't wake right. up to know it. So yes, you are a wife and then you cut you get customized to your specific man. Yeah, but we're talking about in general, not just yeah. for the ones who don't have right. a husband, right. not a man. But I, I would also but to argue. Luna's point, just real quick, Luna, just to the things you guys are naming is icing. Right. right. I think Thank what you. Luna is talking about is, is the cake part. Because exactly. there are so many inventions. We got a robot. That nigga's out there right now sweeping the floor. Right now. Right. Um, you know, we got microwaves, we got dishwashers. So those things that you got the washer and dryer. So those things, right? There's some help there now, you know. Right. Um, and then like you said, men can outsource a lot of stuff, you know. But for my wife specifically, like what helps me get more of her time, right? So I had to have that conversation. So now I make sure the cleaning lady comes at least once a week or at least once every couple of weeks, right? Because sometimes the lady clean the hell out of the house, that's a reset, you know, with all these kids and shit like that. And then that allows her to do the things that I really, really want, you know, right. to, to, to Luna's point. The man that you get with that you're going to, I think that the, the men you guys deserve, you ain't going to like them as much as you think, but no. you're going to appreciate them. Right, because when that man is being a man, that shit ain't gonna go how you think it's gonna go. There ain't gonna be a whole lot of negotiating. There might be a shut the fuck up here and there. And I know you say my man ain't gonna talk. Listen, niggas been out in this earth talking shit, getting through it, putting in pain. So those things happen. I'm not saying it's a plethora, right? But people have get get in those spaces, you know. Things get hard out here, but you should always appreciate that man for what he brings to you. You know, but Luna, I just wanted to clarify that point. Thank you, that because that's really exactly what I was saying. But um, I was just also <laughs> gonna clarify that, like you mentioned, Jay, that these these women don't have a man; they're not married, so they don't they can't ask the man what pleases him. Um, although I agree with that, I feel like if these women are dating, they would have a higher success rate if they started off there with the man that they're dating mm -hmm. ask that man how can i please you that's how you become a wife is pleasing that man so whether they're talking in a situation whatever the whatever the case may be to um 
to lower your chances of you not being a wife and to make them higher, it would be wise of you to ask that man how you can please him, whether that is your husband or not, if you want to become a wife. Um, but I, I want to make sure the priest point is well understood because I know Tay asked and she, I think, I feel like she logs this stuff. Luna is 100% on point. But there are baseline things, Luna, that you can get from books. You can get from going to a class of like-minded individuals right and also you get that influence of people with the same mindset right because if, if single women are only dealing with single women what what is everybody's goal but if you go to a wife school yeah but if you go to a wife school somebody said okay now P, you can galvanize each other you know what i mean mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. in a way you know so i think there's value there so i don't want to dismiss it but luna you're right it's going to be that man centric but there's a baseline you know right right which i right. agree that's what i was trying yeah. to say like i don't think that, Listen, that can i ask a question at all yeah. i got you i think gway and Porsche were talking at the same time Go ahead. sorry um i wanted to ask a question of all of the ladies on the panel are your mother and father married um and were you born into a neutral family mine are mine were married before they had mm -hmm. us and they're still married today okay well um my mom is married and my dad is married but they're not married to each other they're married um to other people okay um, my parents were married before they before they had me, um, and they were buried until my father transitioned. So yes. Luna, you got to be specific in this day and age. Like, <laughs> like, 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 like Caitlyn Jenner transition. Oh no! Oh Lord, have mercy! I meant that story. He 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 is no longer with us. All right, God God bless the dead. Right, God bless the dead. All right. Yeah, I God bless the world we Night. live in today. The crazy world, man. The evil world we live in. It's a evil um, world. I was going to say, um, Go ahead, I thought that, I was going to the question. <laughs> and cleaning and all that. What's your question? Yes, <laughs> oh, question. Go ahead. Sorry. I think it's 37 years they've been married. And I'm Jenny. Okay, so we have. Caprice, you said what? Yes, they are, are married 37 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> now. Okay, and then Miss Jenny? Um, my parents were married when I was born, and they split up when I was four, and I was raised by my dad. Okay, and then Miss Tay? Yeah, my parents were married when I was small, uh, but they divorced. My father remarried, and so did my mom. Okay. And Miss Love, I know she she went away, but I'll go ahead and answer for myself. My mom and my dad, they have been married for 32 years now. And um, I have my biological mother and my biological father, and they are still together. And it's, it's gross because I'm their kid, right? It's so gross how much they love <laughs> each other. It's disgusting. But my parents are still together right now to this day. Yeah, I think it's a great influence. It's a great example, right? Often mm -hmm. kids do what they absolutely. see, you know? Yes, I absolutely. That. I love it. And that. I contribute everything that I am to everything that my parents are. Like, they just got back today from Dubai, and we've been to Dubai as a family together, but, like, they just went without us. Oh, so gross. All of the videos and pictures that they sent us, you know? We're happy for them, but it's just gross for the kids, but mm -hmm. I am very proud to say that I come from um, a matrimony um, between my mother and my father, and they had all of us in that yeah. union, and we had them as an example. So, yeah, um, and then like just for sis, um, our parents been married for yeah, I don't know, forty years or some corny shit. 30 years. Oh, yeah. um, <clears throat> what'd you say, Dupree? 
I keep forgetting that I'm unmuted and I'm over here coughing because I'm getting sick. <laughs> oh no, you're all right. Um, let me read these super chats, then we'll do some final thoughts. Uh, Miss Jenny, turn the heat on. All right, <laughs> you cheat. Miss Deb with the ten dollars says, <laughs> "Love and sis have been called bitter and aggressive, but they've been on defense. These women came in hot." Black is crush up rock with the five dollars says fourteen thousand subs. Ham indeed. Portia, my queen, I'll be the king. Stand tall. America calls it soccer with the five dollars says, Regardless of who did that to your background, this is your chance to prove women's equality to men. Put your money where your mouth is. Koja Malik with the two dollars. But what did Lot do with his daughters? <clears throat> you want us to answer that? Then you want to answer? You want me to answer? You want to answer? <laughs> he took advantage of him. He didn't take yeah. advantage of that. Exactly. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, that's Genesis 19, I think. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. So yeah, they they he was blind and old and they did that to him. Um Red, yeah, he was so oh, he was saucy, yeah. Um Red Pill Ranger with the two dollars says Tay Tay get great, don't go away. The acts were done. Munch. <laughs> oh, Tay, they don't go away. The acts weren't done. Or the acts were done. You want to respond to that? You straight. <laughs> and TAT channel was popping on the final says, Hemp, you got some diamonds here. Gway has it all together. Porsche T2. And she's cool with it. Good stream, bro. Nick Taylor. Thank you, my brother. I appreciate you. Hope all is well. Rebel Rosa tells his love is right on that. You got to be concise. Drew, Drew beats with the final says, Love has that I work uh, in HR vibe. Shaking my, shaking my head. All these black women with res resting bitch faces. Good. Let me see you good. All right. Um, <clears throat> the dating pool re roast reaction to us that this is wild, wild. Lord Commander with the final says children throwing insults. The Red Pearl Ranger with the final says, Why does the information have to be the to be new? Two plus two equals four every day. Logic is consistent. Were the women supposed to make to make something new up? Yes, it sounded familiar. Martin Luther King with the uh Kang with the two dollars says love look tired, look like tired Will Smith. Jonathan McGill with the five dollars says, Am I tripping or are some women like children? Hmm. Uh, red pill ranger with the five dollars says the red pill is about accepting reality for what it is and conducting yourself accordingly in self-improvement. Red pill isn't about hate for women. Shambru with the five dollars says, sis jump off and headed to the gym. She's tired of hearing that shit that she fat. LOL. Self-esteem crush. You like this. The kosher collision with the five outside. The, <clears throat> the red pill is predicated on the existence ex exis existentialist crisis. It is unveiling from seeing seeing women in reality for what it is about women and nature. Red pill range with the five says feminism is misandry. If red pill is misogyny, you have to ask yourself who wrote that definition. Did a man or woman write it? Wikipedia is not legit. Lord Commander with the five says, ladies seem to not understand anger. Picture you are in a lunch line. The lunch ladies say you get no food, and other people have 20 trays of food. <laughs> Koji Malik with the two dollars says, sexism is the father of feminism. Hmm. See, the spouse with the two dollars says, black women don't want black men to have a voice on anything. Shell Shock was popping with the five dollars says, love is any. Love is any type of criticism towards black women not considered misogynistic when brothers had to face misandry on a worldwide platform for 50 plus years. Lord Commander with the two dollars says, Pick me are also singing single, holding out for top men. Oh, popping with two dollars says, Luna, you just lost me. I think just say you can't cook. <laughs> I can cook very well, actually. Kenny three stacks to the final says the whole vibe shifted once this left and love got humbled. See how the discourse is more positive and the disagreements don't end in arguments. Red Pill Ranger with the two says, fellas never date a woman who didn't have a dad. Oh, well, he says, fellas, comma. Never date a woman who did not have a dad. Rebel Rose with the says, This is sad. T's advice boils down to just be nice. <laughs> the dating pool roast with the two dollars says. Wife school, make that garbage make sense. 
guy R. Brew with the five dollars says men care greatly about things and women that are not tangible. Work on being the best feminine woman you can be. My my four my four seven I my four I don't know. My four seven forty seven I four K my forte. Oh my four seven my forte okay. Uh, with the five dollars says first time ever donating, but I love Luna. She been treating the shit, treating the shit out y'all. Great is cool. Been watching for like thirty minutes, no doubt, brother. Appreciate you, Mister Redu. With the five dollars says try locking down a man that knows his worth. Pound good luck. Congo English with the five dollars says bring the intangible: self love, health, health, vulnerability, compatibility, cooking, cleaning. I can do that for myself better than most. Do y'all believe it now that a man said it or what? <clears throat> and they huh? I was just asking if y'all believed it now that a man said it and clarified. Okay, just just to it wasn't like, oh, this is the only thing that you can do as a woman for a man. People just for some reason grabbed that and grabbed grabbed a hold to it, but nonetheless, whatever. The Red Pill Ranger with the photo says. Why do women need coaching? Just to be decent people and pleasant to be around. Y'all born with the with the pussy. The rest should be easy. We don't desire much. Mitt was popping, my boy, with the five dollars. What, what, it, what it do, ladies? I think that's what he was. Terry with the two dollars says, "Time will show them what happens in marriage." Exclamation point. John. <laughs> John with the twenty balls says, "Gotta be self aware." Ellipsis. Sometimes the ones who think they are not like other women, quote unquote, long lashes and red weaves. No, sometimes it's you acting like a child. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Caesar Palace, man, where you been at? I ain't see you all night, bro. I hope all is well. In which I think the new year is. You feel me? Oh, I'm broke, baby. I ain't got no money. Bullshit. I see you shining, nigga. I can smell a motherfucker with money. <laughs> Even Ray Charles can see you got money. <laughs> Fifty ball says T J Portia Jenny Luna Gway and Tay. Thanks for showing a different side of black women. She said, "You guys have beautiful smiles, and we need more of this image out here." I appreciate y'all. All right, see the palace. Appreciate you. Shan Brewer with the says, <clears throat> "You can tell who had their father in their life." Exclamation point. Sathar Yahala with the five dollars says, "If nine one one stop answering tomorrow, black women would get in order quick, fast, and in a hurry. Y'all need to be humble." Shalom. G firm with the two dollars. My wife Gway is beautiful. Gway, you gonna give me a number? Who are you? <laughs> Me. Well, you can't handle me, girl. I'm talking about um the dude, <laughs> the dude, in the, the dude in the chat. <laughs> he been telling you that all night. <laughs> Come on now, I'm this close. I'm this close. You know they call me Ham Hitch, right? This close to um, getting me off your hand, huh? Yeah. Well, you. I got you feeling like two hands. Me and love getting close. I, I'm working on Tay. <laughs> you know, I gotta, I gotta get rid of the, 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 the stereotype. Do she still like girls? I'm like, nigga, shut up, nigga. <laughs> she don't like girls that much no more. Sometimes, you know what I mean. So <laughs> I'm trying to work. <laughs> you know, so. Oh, he want to. Yeah, he want the link. He oh, want the link. What's the what's the who was hitting on Gway just now? <laughs> you know what I mean? Much. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. <laughs> <laughs> Damn man. Oh, G firm, duh. My man, G firm. G firm, you want the link? Oh, God. G firm want the link. <laughs> we getting the out of here, boy. <laughs> Yeah. And we are out. <laughs>